What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Playing Planet Zoo with Spanky. We are on episode three. Last episode, we got our Komodo dragons in, and after the episode off camera, I got our our one mechanic and our vet trained all the way up to five stars. So if we look over here, go to staff. They're at five stars right here, but I also have to pay them more, so they're each getting paid like $3,060 for one person, and that's pretty expensive, so we need to start bringing in more money, and to do that we need to bring in more guests, and one of the best ways to bring in more guests is by having larger, more attractive animals. Right now we have two pretty small ones that breed a lot, so we're going to get a lot of conservation credits for selling their children, basically. But we need to bring some larger animals into our zoo, more attractive ones. And we'll, uh -oh. we'll look at the animal trading. I know that... Um, the large cats tend to be very attractive to guests, but we may not be able to afford them unless they're being sold for cash. Let's adopt her. I gotta find the mail that I had previously. The game's paused, so they shouldn't be changing. That's a female. Alright. Um, not you, not you, not you, not you. They all have the same fertility. What about you? You're even worse. You're not worth the price. This one is very fertile, but has zero longevity. Which isn't, I guess that's not a terrible thing, because you can't trade, or you can't release these ones to the wild. Which is a, a really annoying part to this, is when you, excuse me, when you, um, have a habitat is full. I like to get rid of the older ones first. Well, you can release them to the wild. I don't know why, but sometimes when you're... When you adopt... And maybe it's ones you get as rewards. But I'm not... I'm not sure. Sometimes when you adopt them. How come I can't select all? Alright, I'm gonna move you to quarantine. And I'm gonna move you to quarantine. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so sometimes when they're full, you can't trade them away. Which I find very annoying. Alright, so now we gotta do some super planning. I don't want to have a grid-shaped zoo. So we're gonna...
Good. They can't escape. So hopefully that will bring in more money. Um, this power source is failing. We definitely need another mechanic, but I want to make some more money before we do that. If we go to Zoo Overview, the most appealing one is still the Komodo Dragon, which is not a bad thing. And the Keeper is not feeding them, apparently. And they can walk all the way through the habitat. And eventually, to get over to this area, which maybe this will be our monkey area, they'll have to go through the habitat. I like this. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and if you want to see more of this, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.